اوكي بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم اما بعد so just a quick overview of what we try to do in the uh, beyond the six books uh, course so the name beyond the six books is not um, suggesting that we're going to do anything not related to the six books of hadith the name beyond the six books i think Mufti was the one that came up with the name was to say after you've done dawra hadith this is kind of like a supplementary so beyond the six books after you've done dawra uh, to kind of supplement what you've done in madrasa uh, the basic idea of the, uh, the the beyond the six books or advanced hadith course uh, is to kind of equip students uh, to do a few things so uh, there's three or four main uh, goals that we try to achieve within this um, uh, year-long program. So we do not call it a tachassus program, a specialist program, because we just don't do the hours I think are required and also for uh, a specialist program, I think it would be better to have someone much more senior to kind of head the specialist program because I teach this by myself. I don't want to call it specialist and nor do we do the hours I think for that. Uh, so this is why we kind of cho chosen the phrase to say this is an advanced hadith program. So the four main uh, or three or four main things that we try to achieve in this course. Uh, number one is to respond to shubuhat, which are doubts uh, that are placed on the um, the hadith itself or what is known as uh, the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam as being a source of evidence. Um, so this would be two types of people that are groups that we are responding to. One is uh, the Orientalists. So these are non-Muslims that are studying Hadith and providing their critique of the Hadith and Sunnah. Uh, and then you have uh, more modern Muslim groups that to different degrees have also tried to question the authority of the Sunnah and of the Hadith books. Uh, so that's um, one component of this uh, course, which we do not take that long in, but it depends on if we have students that have more questions and objections, then we can take longer on that. Although I think that uh, we've kind of, um, what I've tried to do is uh, summarize the main arguments into four or five key figures. And my argument is if you can kind of look at these four or five key figures and respond to them, that kind of encapsulates others. And we're also willing to develop this. So if there are new books or papers out that people want to look into. So just recently, uh, a couple of years ago, was the PhD dissertation of Joshua Little, who uh, is an orientalist who questions the hadith of the age of Aisha radiallahu anha on different grounds, not on moral grounds, on different grounds. Um, so that's something we incorporate then into the classes so we can discuss, you know, what we people sometimes refer to as cutting edge or fresh research. So we try to incorporate that as well. So that's one component. Uh, the second aspect is... Um, Mustalo Hadith, which is the Ulum al Hadith itself. Uh, and we kind of cover the uh, the first half of the book of Muqaddimah ibn Salah. So, what we try to do is the main chapters, which are to do with the definitions of uh, Sahih, Hassan, Da'if, Mawdu', and all the sub discussions uh, to do that in Muqaddimah ibn Salah. We cover that in quite some detail. So, we have like one session, sometimes two a week, uh, where we really uh, go into that. And what we try to do is uh, each uh, you know chapter of Ibn Salah, I will try to give dedicated books and discussions regarding that. So you have reading as well as what we try to summarize within the class as well. Uh, but the section of Ibn Salah, which is to do with uh, adab, the etiquettes of riwayah, we can sometimes just quickly read through that because there isn't, um, it's important sections where we kind of let people do that in their own reading. We try to go through the uh, aspect of Muqaddim al-Salah, which is the most relevant to our, um, our, our third aspect, which is uh, practical. So what we will try to do is we'll try to do the theory of Mustalah. And if someone has already done uh, Mustalah hadith in Madrasa before, this would be more uh, detailed. And even if you haven't done it before, we try to do it in a way that uh, allows us to start from the definition Upwards, so it can be a lot, but because there's only three sessions a week, uh, there's enough time for people to kind of go through and ponder over what's being said. Uh, that's point number um, that's two. The third aspect is where what we try to do is we look at the practical implementation of the science of hadith. So there's two ways we go about it. Number one is that we look at various figures over the historically and usually over the last century 
of uh, scholars who have contributed to the field of hadith and we look we do case studies of them analyzing hadith so what we'll do is we kind of um uh, by this study we do two three different things number one is for example if we were to look at the life and times of someone like sheikh abdul fatah abu ghudda we will learn about who he was we do like a brief overview we do read uh, we'll give reading about his life then what we'll do is we'll look at a case study of sheikh abdul fatah abu ghudda providing an analysis on a hadith by doing so, the student can learn the practical implementation of the theory. At the same time, they can learn about his method of how he provides the tahrij and tahqiq of how he sources the hadith and grades the hadith. Uh, and then you also learn about something to do with, on a specific hadith, like what's actually what's the grading of a given hadith. And we go through various figures like that. Uh, so there we learn about contemporary figures as well as classical. Uh, because classically, the figures usually come up in Mustala hadith anyway. This way we get to learn about the contemporary contributors of hadith. At the same time, we learn how they practically did so. And then that will go into our fourth aspect of uh, ulum al-hadi, uh, of, of, this, of the course is to do it ourselves. So which is we will give out uh, tasks throughout the year, which would eventually culminate in a uh, attempt of the student to who will be given a, either, either a couple of hadith or a, a single hadith. And you would have to kind of provide a, a sourcing of the hadith, uh, a finding of each narrator, grading, and then we try to get to that kind of level of equipping the student uh, to that ability. So that's the goal, the four goals, if you like, or uh, subjects and topics that we'll be covering uh, in that year, inshallah.